Back to the white chalk line in turn number four. What's she got? She's a gasser of the highest order out of Adelaide in South Australia. The number four car and McNamara's on the bottom and he gets a great launch. Lisa tries to fire around the top out of turn two. She does. Are you kidding? Walker to the lead. McNamara to second. It's going to third. Rankin and Ramsey run fourth and fifth respectively. Back to Hutchins. Corey McCullough watch for him starting to charge his way forward. Johnny V goes by Jason Pride as we're two laps down. Lisa Walker. Just a stirring start. Ryan Mack got a great launch. And she put it to the top in one and two. It really looks strong. Back to the main straight. Four down, six to run. McNamara. Everybody's relatively smooth sailing as Corey McCullough tries to range up on the back of the Indy Race Pass number two. Little irony there as Domain and the Indy Race Pass team fielded a car for last year's Eureka Garages and Chet Series. As a result, Corey went on to win the $10,000 championship before stepping back to the Dixon Motorsport car to start this season. Now returns to the family run number 90. Lisa fires out of turn two into turn three. This time by, she'll have four laps to run. She was a jet in dirt go-karts. Very polished in a Formula 500. Now translates that to a potential heat race victory here in heat 10 at the Classic. McNamara, Pesca's there in third. Fourth is Domain Ramsey. Pesca just bounces his way through turn one and two as he rips into turn number three to get the white flag. There's one to run for Lisa. What a stirring drive here at the Bull. Nobody handed her this win as she comes back to the main straight, Lisa Walker. Home in victory lane, Ryan Mack will take second from Daniel Pesca back to Terry Rankin. Followed by Domain Corey. Then it's Tim Hutchins, Johnny Vogels and Jason Pride. Come on, Warnable. Nobody handed Lisa Walker that victory. The SA4 picks up the W here in heat race number 10. How about banging your hands together for Lisa Walker? Just so smooth, wasn't she? Railed the top beautifully presented and she can wheel a race car and you know she's got uh, Wayne Rowett to thank initially for this opportunity to get into sprint cars and since then her and her dad have worked really hard on their partnerships and getting corporates involved and they really do work hard on her image she's squeaky clean with all of her social media she's got some great fans and some great supporters on the car and she is a wheeler make no mistake about that Come on, Warnable, how about some noise for Lisa Walker? Hey, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Um, really have to win that one after our qualifying, so, yeah, happy to get the win. Still pretty physical, even out there by yourself. Yeah, it is. I mean, we are pretty tired, but I think we had to be like that together on the start, so uh, I was happy with that, and see what we can do in the mains now. It's an incredible event, Lisa, isn't it? Like, you go back to when you were racing karts against, you know, Daniel Peskis and Benny Browns and people like that, but here you are on the big stage, winning heat races fairly regularly at this event. Do you sometimes pinch yourself? Yeah, definitely pinch myself. Um, it's pretty crazy that we're doing this. So, like, got my own team here. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. Who do you want to thank, mate? Uh, too many people to thank. We've had a pretty shocking run lately, so... Um, just Hayden and Dad and Lockie for rebuilding our cars and all of our sponsors, Action Line Marketing, Devil Race Cars, KDI Tracker Trailer, Sunnyside, Noise, Zuzu, Developer, yeah, there's too many, yeah, too many people that help us, thank you. Hey, you got to meet Doug Clark yesterday, we were sort of cruising by your team and you got to meet Doug. Yeah, that was pretty cool, you just happened to be driving past while uh, we were working on the side of the road, so that was awesome. Good job, mate. Thank you.